Hey guys, it's me, the Dolphin Attic, and welcome to what was the grand finale of Fufu and Pokemon's PU tournament. And by God, it was an absolutely brilliant game. Most of you guys probably saw it live anyway. Um, I can't really explain the teams because they're not right in front of me. You'll see them on the sides uh, in the video. But basically, I made two changes to my Pokemon, which I'll cover when we get into the game. And I thought, you know, let's put the epic Xerneas and Eveltal battle music in the background. So here's the first change I made to my team. Choice Scarf. Timid Magmar can outspeed max speed Scarfed Rotom, which I knew Sceptile run, and I decided, you know what, let's just do it, take that Rotom out, and I took it out first turn, which I was quite surprised he didn't switch, because he had lots of things I could have taken that Fire Blast. Um, anyway, I'm equipped 6-5, I have my attacking momentum going, and I also have my Stealth Rocks up, which means Togetic and Monferno are not going to be as much of a threat as I thought they would be. I'm pretty sure he's going to bring a Togetic here, um, but, I, well, no, I'm pretty sure he's going to switch here, expecting me to switch. I go into my Porygon, uh, no, no, I can take a special attack. Uh, I actually then double straight back into Sneasel, expecting him to go for the Defog, which he does do. I know he has the Defog on that thing. I know his set is Dazzling Glean, Defog, Roost, and... Actually, I don't know what his other move is. Probably Heal Bell. But in comes a... I'm, what is, I'm assuming it's a Toxic Stalling Ordino. And Sneasel really screws over that Ordino really well. Uh, Togetic comes back in. I go for the Brick Break. I should have probably expected that. I've gone, off for, gone for another knockoff. And then I could have gone for an Ice Punch in the next turn to take him out. Um, and I would have maintained my Sash, which would have been really... Sash? Sash, which would have been really nice. But Monferno, Monferno comes in, and uh, I give her an Ice Shard, expecting him for, to want to try and kill me off with another Dazzling Gleam, which would, would have... I don't, know, I don't know if it would have really caused me too much trouble. Anyway, I decided to sack off my Torterra. Well, yeah, there wasn't really anything else I could have gone into. I, I could have gone into Porygon, I guess. That would have been the safer idea. I don't really know why I would, uh, went into Torterra then, and looking back at it now, that is what bit me in the ass most. I do control the battle for most of the, like, pretty much the whole battle, and then you just see what happens at the end. Anyway, Ordino is here, and he does Toxic, which is really annoying. Um, if I hadn't paralyzed him that turn, I could have just gone for Magic Coat and Toxic King too, but as you know, that Ordino, or that Ordino isn't going to be around for much longer, because when Captain Brave Bird comes in, something dies. Something has to die to this thing. In comes Togetic, and I go for the U-turn, expecting him to want to switch out to Togetic. And at this point, thinking, I know he's a physically defensive, but he hasn't got the Violite on, so I'm pretty sure an Ice Punch would be able to take him out, which it does, and uh, he obviously, I don't know, he maybe thought I'd overpredict, but there was no reason for me to overpredict. Um, Monferno comes back in, and the vacuum wave is pretty obvious, I don't want to die. Uh, but he goes for a Flamethrower, so uh, I would have been faster, but I don't think I'd have been able to have taken him out with any moves, so Porygon was a safer switch. In comes Torterra, I'm going to go for the Tri-Attack, knowing he's going to bring it in, I don't want a Thunder Wave. Um, I do get the Burn, which is quite nice. Um, it would have been a lot, quite helpful if I got Serene Grace, Trace Serene Grace, and then done it. Because uh, I've got 20% chance of doing a status on him. But, you know, a burn's, burn's the perfect one for me. Um, I then Magic Coat his Stealth Rocks back, which is brilliant. So Tokotix has gone, so he's got rocks up permanently on his side of the field. And I decide to bring Captain Brave Bird, knowing he's going to want to self his rocks again. He wants to take down Captain Brave Bird, and I'm, I'm thinking Sneasel will die uh, on entry on Stealth Rocks uh, next time, so... That pretty much renders my Sneasel useless, but I do go for the Brave Bird, and this is where Captain Brave Bird claims lives. Um, he's going to switch out Ordino here, he has to sack something, or make me, uh, something has to lose a lot of health, because um, he wants to get a Regenerator off on Ordino, and he sacks off his Torterra, and that, that's what Storavia does, it took down Torterra and it put about, what was it, 80% damage into that uh, Ordino? Uh, anyway, no, Sneasel does live at Stealth Rock, and that means I can get a Brick Break off. He hasn't got anything to take a Brick Break, so I guess he just sacks off Ordino at this point. Uh, in comes Monferno, and I go for the Ice Shard, expecting him to want a Vacuum Wave. I should have gone for the knockoff. Um, I don't know how much it would have done. It would have had a massive base attack. It would have done more than Ice Shard, that's for sure. And then I could have gone for an Ice Shard. I don't know what item he has. I mean, I thought he was Life Orb originally, but he's... Judging by the amount of damage that Ice Shard done, he's not a Violite. Anyway, I bring in Magmar here, because I know Psychic will take it out. I can live a vacuum wave. And this was my downfall, guys. This was my downfall. I'm free, one up. And all he has is Wish Cash. And, guys, no one can predict this Wish Cash. It is a custom set. I won't spoil it, because I know he's going to make a video about it, and it's also his custom set, and he's worked. He's calculated everything in the background, sort of what he can live, what he can't live. And this thing screws me over. I dominated the whole battle. I had it flowing my way, I had it under my control, and this wish cash just comes along, puts up a sub, because Psychic is 24%, I, 
If I'd have got that special defense drop or crit or something, it would have been so helpful. But uh, that doesn't happen, and he's just going to substitute. I mean, he could have gone for the Earthquake and taken me out at this point, but at this point, it's pretty much good game because he's faster than my whole team, and there is no way I can live any of his attacks and hit something off, uh, back off at him. And I haven't even got anything powerful enough to uh, hit this thing with anymore. It's only my uh, Porygon I have left. 24 HP, no chance I can take any of his attacks, and I lose to a very close 1 0. So, guys. I think I done quite well for Team Kalos there. I think it was probably the, the most fitting battle you could have um, at the end of a tournament. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I was so salty afterwards, but you know what? It was all for the fun. I think I did quite well for the team. And thank you to everyone who I battled during this tournament, and thank you to Septile for giving me such a great final. Other than that, guys, hopefully you liked and uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe, and I'll see you around. Goodbye.